Hey guys, Angela here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is a totally random video. It just came to me as I was like pulling stuff out of my closet to pack for my trip home for Christmas. And so I'm like, this would be a great video. Um, and so I decided that I am going to do sort of like a pack with me. Now I am going home tomorrow. Today's Monday, the 21st. I'm flying to uh, St. Louis on tomorrow and I will be there through the 30th. I don't have any plans to leave the house for real, but since I have my nieces and nephews at my disposal, I decided that I'll pack a few like out outfits to get them to take some outfit pictures of me. And so that's what I'm in the middle of doing now, which means I have to pack a lot more than I would normally pack. Normally I'm like a few things and I wear the same things over and over and over again, but I'm packing one, two, three, four, five, six pairs of shoes and a bunch of like extra stuff that I wouldn't normally pack. So I thought it would be fun to sort of take you along with me. I'll try on some of the outfit ideas that I'm thinking about um, taking pictures in and yeah, so pack with me. So let's start with the jackets and coats that I am going to bring. So I'm going to bring my long wool black coat. So I'm gonna style that up in a couple looks. I'm going to bring this H&M jacket. So this is coming with me. Um, I'm going to bring this fatigue jacket because I am going to wear and uh, get some pictures of that outfit that I wore in my holiday outfits video. Y'all remember that outfit with like one shoulder and the uh, Goldie crisscross jeans which are also on this rack. And then I'm just going to take a leather jacket because I have a look that I want to do with a leather jacket. As far as pants, I'm just gonna take my faux leather leggings and then I'm gonna take these rib leggings with like a slit because I have an outfit idea that I sort of wanna do with, you know, the open, open slit over like a sneaker. And then as far as jeans, I'm just gonna take these black 90 style um, jeans from Zara and then the Agoldi crisscross jeans. So I don't feel like it's a lot of, okay, that's a lot. And then I'm gonna take this stack of sweat. So this is some of my like essential stuff. Um, I decided to bring the entire cream outfit, so the sweats and the crew neck. And then I have the entire black outfit as well, sweats and crew neck. I left the black hoodie here, but I did opt to bring like the oatmeal color hoodie because I wanted to do like a hoodie style thing. So I needed a hoodie, so I brought that hoodie. That's a lot of stuff. <laughs> um, and then the uh, black one shoulder shirt to wear with the fatigue um, jacket. And then I brought the white version of it because I thought maybe I want to style up a pair of those sweats with a, like a one shoulder shirt or something. And then I brought two t-shirts, one long sleeve white t-shirt, one short sleeve white t-shirt because y'all know me, you know, that's really just the basis of who I am. So I have to have a white t-shirt to wear alongside those jeans um, for like a casual look. And then as I said, I have a bunch of like leggings and like t-shirts and stuff to just lounge around the house in so i don't have a lot of clothing i feel like i just have like bulky stuff so that's why i guess it feels like it's a lot of stuff and then i have way more shoes than i would normally normally carry so let's let's look at the shoes let me let me pull the shoes up here so you can see what shoes i'm bringing as well of course i'm taking my ash combat boots they go wherever i go like period period poo these are it then i'm also going to take a pair of uh, heeled boots so these are from Zara so I'm gonna take these just to like style up a super casual look um with a little heel or something maybe I don't know it may make the cut it may not but I'm going to take those two then I need a pair of high top shoes so I just grabbed my trusty um platform chucks I wear these things all the time I actually wish I had a pair of 70s in black right now because these will go fine with the look that I that I'm um trying to put together but I would prefer to have like a not chunky heel which is weird because y'all know I love a chunky heel I think I'm gonna go ahead and order a pair of 70s in black and in that parchment color um that has been on my wish list forever just to have like some variety um in my chucks and then I'm bringing the um undyed 327s I'm also bringing my vejas and then y'all know I have to bring my new baby so I'm gonna bring the golden goose I'm actually gonna wear these to the airport because they fit wide so my feet literally just slip in and out of these and I was like this will be perfect to wear in the airport because it won't be hard to take my shoes off we have to take your shoes off so my golden goose babies are coming with me as well i'm sure i'm going to style them up in another outfit to like shoot as well so those are the shoes that's a lot of shoes i would normally i just would not normally pack all of that but again i guess you know 
I'm trying to be about this life, so we gotta do gotta do what we gotta do. So that is the basis of the wardrobe. I'm taking oh, I'm also gonna take this hat. I'm gonna take a scully. I'm going to take this um urban outfitters bucket hat and then i'm also going to take this um like corduroy uh joshua tree, joshua tree hat that i got from free people i don't know i got it from somewhere so those are the accessories that i'm taking y'all know i don't really wear accessories but i consider those accessories so those are the accessories that i'm taking so that's the the base now it's time to try to put together some outfits so let's do that okay so this is what we're going to wear to the airport so i'm just going to do the full sweatsuit um in cream the full essential sweatsuit in cream and then i'm going to wear my long black wool coat just because it's probably the bulkiest thing to pack and i just i'm just gonna wear it so i don't have to pack it and then i'm just going to wear my golden goose sneakers as i said because i could just like slip my feet out of them when I'm doing when I'm going through security um a hat because I'll probably look crazy in the morning and then yeah and this is also something I can go home fix myself up throw some earrings on and maybe have my nephew shoot a picture of um this very casual look so yeah this is the first outfit. So I still have on the long wool coat. I've just switched into this all black look. So this is just a black version of that crew neck essential sweater. And then I have on some black uh, faux leather leggings. And then I have my com boots on, com boots, combat boots on. I'm trying to move over so you can see them. So I have my combat boots on um, just for like an all black, cool, casual look. And then I put on this red baseball cap. Um, I did have on the blue Nike cap. I just didn't think that it added enough of a pop of color. So, yeah, this may be a look. I'm not sure. But I have another variation of this look. I don't know. Let me show you the other variation. Okay, so same outfit, um, just with a different shoe. So I have on the high top chucks. The only difference is I would probably put on like a, a tall black um, slouch socks and then just like slouch it a little bit in the shoe. So that would be the only thing that would be different from what you see here. Um, but pretty much the same outfit, different shoe, and then also a different hat. So I switched out the baseball cap for just the scully and I have it like rolled. Um, this is the weirdest angle, but whatever. Um, I have it rolled up here. Um, in the front and around the back. I love wearing my scully like this. I actually stole this idea from an ex. Actually, a lot of the times when I get dressed, I always think what would do because I just always have like really loved his style. So I pinch from it a lot, but yeah. So scully and chucks. So I haven't decided which variation I'm going to do, um, but maybe one of the two. Okay, in this next outfit, I'm in another Essential City. As you can tell, Essentials is pretty much my favorite like lounge um, wear brand right now. I have quite a few like hoodies and sweaters and sweatpants and stuff, t-shirts from them. Um, but I'm in another Essentials hoodie, just in a like a um, grayish oatmeal color. Um, and then I have on another pair of leggings, but these are cotton ribbed leggings from Zara. They have this slit up the back. There's a well zipper up the back, and then I have them on with some heels. I tucked the hoodie in my pants just a tad but bit to give it like some shape um, here. Okay, so I moved the camera. You can see it just a little bit. So yeah, so this is the full look. Shoes and all. I definitely will shoot this one. This one I know for sure. This is literally an outfit that I feel like I saw Hailey Bieber in, like this exact outfit. Um, but Angela did it first because this is something I would probably wear all the time. Maybe I didn't do it first because I haven't worn it, but I mean, I would have put this together without seeing Hailey Bieber do it because, um, this is very much my style. Either way, Hailey turn look, turns looks. I just, I wish Hailey would stop wearing dirty gym shoes. At least not dirty white gym shoes. At least not dirty Air Force Ones. Chucks, they can be a little scuffed. That's fine but you have to have on a pair of fresh white Air Force Ones. Other than that, Haley is like my girl right now. So anyway, this is the look. The last look, of course I have on a hat. I know y'all are like, why does this girl have on a hat in every look? And it's because my braids are growing out really badly. My hair is growing so fast. And also I need to dye it. And so 
whenever you see me pulling out hats and I always have on a hat, it means my hair needs dyeing or needs rebraiding or something is going on with my hair. But anyway, they're stylish. I love hats. They're my favorite accessory of choice. So I have this Nike cap back on and then I just have on this H&M shacket um, with the Goldie crisscross jeans and just a short sleeve um, white t-shirt. And then I have on my beiges. And I'm just gonna leave the pants just like that. I'm not gonna cuff them or anything. I sort of like that like mom, whitish, bottom looking uh, style on the pants. Even though I make fun of men all the time who wear what I call fat jeans. This would constitute as like a fat jean bottom. If I saw like a dude with these on, I would be like, bruh, where are you going? Like, no, but it look cute on me. So I'm definitely going to probably shoot this look because it's just super casual. Um, but you can also expect to see these crisscross jeans in a couple outfits because um, the outfit that I showed you in my holiday outfits video also had the Agoldi crisscross jeans. I don't know, I might switch those out to the Zara jeans, we'll see. But this is definitely, definitely a look that you'll see on the timeline. I think this may be the last one that I'll show you because honestly, girl, I'm tired. So like I said, I think that's it for like the try on. And now that I've completely destroyed my apartment trying to show you outfits that I am going to shoot for Instagram, I have to straighten it all up and actually get it packed and into suitcases so i hope this was fun again it was super spontaneous the lighting is super weird but it came to me on a whim and i thought why not share why why not just make a video of it so this is coming to an instagram feed near you thank you all for watching make sure you like subscribe share videos that you enjoy with your friends and follow me on Instagram at beangela underscore be and I will talk to y'all in the next video. Bye!